Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and joining me here in lovely Honolulu at PTC 2018, my friend, Mr. Vincent English. He's the CEO of Megaport. Vincent, Hi. welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me back. A lovely setting. Oh, I mean, this this is just uh, unbelievable. We're here in paradise. Now, Megaport has been doing some really phenomenal, fantastic, innovative things, um, really streamlining that cloud connectivity. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, sure. Um, as we spoke the last time in, uh, in ITW, we're, we're making um, cloud connectivity easy. And that's probably the, our biggest mantra that we've got going. Uh, it's really important that the journey to the cloud is already a difficult path because of the networking problem that we're trying to fix for enterprises. Um, and it's really important that we, we've, we're we focused on that. Uh, we've got a, a really great ecosystem of the top six cloud providers today and we're continuing to expand on that. Uh, but what's really important is that the ease of use and how you connect to the cloud service provider of choice is a very simple and easy process. Uh, so we spend a lot of time on our user interface and on our one-stop shop in terms of how you connect uh, within 60 seconds in a fast, instant, in secure manner and the economics match the same way you consume the cloud. So uh, we're very focused on it. It's a really important part of uh of what we do, and we're going to continue to continue to work on that. Um, today, we're in 187 sites uh, globally today, uh, so we're going to keep continue to expand on our network, uh, and that's really important. Uh, and recently, uh, just before Christmas, there in November, we've added IBM uh, Direct uh, Connect uh, to our platform as well. So again, we're continuing to grow and expand. And the whole idea is to offer choice for the end enterprise or customer, and actually how to use it and consume it in a fast and easy and secure manner. Your data center partnerships have uh, have been also hitting the headlines. Uh, just recently, you partnered with IO data centers to provide that direct private cloud connectivity to the IO customer base. You also did similar announcements with Stream Data Centers, uh, Edge Connects, uh, QTS. Yep. So are we going to see more of those type of partnerships in 2018? Absolutely, yes. Um, uh, just to put it into context, uh, like I mentioned we had 187 locations today. We've got 62 different data center operators on our fabric today. Wow. Uh, and we're going to continue to expand. And the whole idea of that is that you know we're actually trying to extend the edge of our network to uh, to the, as many enterprises as possible. And we do that in a neutral, independent manner with, uh, with our data center partners and our operators, so we're going to continue to expand that. It's a two-way street. I mean, at the end of the day, the cloud service providers want to access the enterprises, and the enterprises who, are, who are, reside in the data centers actually need access to these uh, services. So we actually serve both ends uh, and bringing both parties together, and that's how we do it. And part of that is the expansion with the network providers uh, and also with the data center providers to help us to do that. So it's an, inter it's an important part. Yeah, uh, I can see that vision. Um, so you talked about um, your access to all those uh, global data centers, those those pops across the world, yeah. um, and you talked about your enterprise customers. But can you describe for us a little bit more your top customers? Yeah, sure. Um, it's kind of uh, it's one of those unique positions that um, because cloud is evolving and most businesses are actually moving towards using the cloud, that we're across many different verticals, from manufacturing to media to telecoms uh, to uh, uh, fintech um, and and so as a result of that um, it's not unique to any one industry or vertical or any one customer so we're getting from small medium-sized customers uh, customers are born in the cloud right through to uh, large top fortune 500 enterprises uh, and, and with, across different regions not just globally but also within APAC and in Europe and also within, within North America so it's a huge cross-section um, and I think what it's doing is it's following the trend uh, of how cloud adoption is moving and, and the more and more customers are moving to the cloud um, and then what you see is you just see this broad spectrum of customers from many different verticals coming across so it's it's not any one unique set of customers or any one customer it's a huge range of customers across different verticals and all of these across so many verticals really require that high bandwidth uh, operations and that, and that streamlined connectivity. Absolutely, and a choice, right? So you need to be able to move, cost, customers need to have a choice because not everybody wants to use one cloud service provider. They may want to use two or three or they may only use one. You know, and the ability to have that choice and to dynamically choose and change how your needs and your, your internet needs, your access to cloud needs, that's what Megaport allows you to do with the interface. And then, and then that's, that's the, important, the important part for it. Like connectivity 2.0. I just love hearing your story. That's it. Yeah, it's connectivity made easy. And I can't let you go without uh, talking more about the news that you just released here at PTC 2018. You're unveiling your virtual cloud 
router. Can you tell us a little bit more about that service? Yeah, so Megaport uh, Cloud Router, MCR for short, uh, we re released that today. It's been in the works for a while across a uh, great uh, shout out to most of my team who've been working on it for the last six or seven months. Uh, and uh, it's, it, it offers us uh, another opportunity to grow our business in different markets and in different uh, ways. Uh, predominantly uh, t up to today, we were a layer two proposition on direct connecting uh, in our network and we've moved up into a layer three capability uh, with this new product. Um, so what does that allow us to do? Well, it allows us for a couple of different user cases that are really important as we expand. And that is, if you've already got cloud connectivity, how do I do cloud to cloud uh, virtually? And, that, and that's, a, that's a huge user case for us. So if you're already there and I'm used data in one cloud provider and I want to use an application in a different cloud provider or a different service provider, then you can do that across Megaport in a seamless and easy fashion, the same way as you would consume uh, the product itself. Um, and then the other, the other really interesting user case uh, is really about virtualizing POPs and, and expanding your network reach globally for anybody who wants to do business outside of their home region or country or in expanding their network. And that's, that's, that, that's another user case that actually doesn't really touch the cloud environment, but it actually opens up the capability of expanding or virtualizing your network, which is really what the, the product does. So it's, it's very exciting. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we have a lot of user cases. Uh, our blog, megaport.com, check it out. Um, we've got a lot, an, an info page paper there that the team put some great work into and a lot of user cases and applications there. So it's great. We're really excited. And so looking f into that uh, crystal ball of yours, what are your predictions for 2018? Um, it's, uh, it's probably too easy to say more of the same, but that's exactly what it is. Uh, it's going to be expanding our network. Uh, we're going to probably be able to add another 40 locations before the end of June, about 220, 225 sites. Uh, we're going to keep developing our ecosystem with partners, um, particularly more regional partners now that we've got the main, uh, the main cloud providers on, and in deepening that. So the whole idea, again, is to make sure that when you've got your port with Megaport, it can do a wide range of things and services, so you don't actually have to go and look at other vendors. You don't need to go and look at other services and you can use it and consume it. And so we're going to keep working on that. That's, at the end of the day, our focus is on the enterprise uh, and what the day wants and how they want to use it. You heard it here. It's uh, Megaport Connectivity Made Easy. Looking forward to catching up to you in the, in the springtime as well. Okay. Uh, and uh, viewers, if you want to learn more, megaport.com. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us, Finn. Love to. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.